Hello, lovely people of God. Welcome to Gospel 101 with Steve. As I say, Gospel 101, as it stands now, is the only um, online gospel interactive program you can find. Yes. We are, we are, we are enjoying our copyright now. It's the only interactive online program now in the space. And what we do is that um, we bring you your gospel industry players. When I say industry players, I mean your gospel artists, your artist managers, your BVs, your instrumentalists, your producers, uh, your event organizers and managers, stage managers, every individual, the lighting guys, the video guys, anybody who has something to do to support the gospel industry, we bring them to you one-on-one. -on -one, uh, we discuss, we delve into their life, we get to know what they do, we get to know their strengths, their motivations, like what they have to, eh? then we can appreciate them more. You get it. Some of them, they are doing marvelly well, but you don't know. You don't know what they do. So we bring them to you. OSTV bring them to you. Then uh, we have a chick chat. You can know them and appreciate what they do. And one on one is um, screened on OSTV on YouTube. So you can subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please do that for me. OSTV GH. OSTV GH on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Share, comment. Make sure whatever you want to say, just say it there on the comment section. Don't call me. Put it at the comment section. And I'll respond accordingly. And also, on Instagram, it's OSTV underscore GH. OSTV underscore GH on Instagram. And on Facebook, it's OSTV. That's it. Uh, before we continue, um, you see my nice polo shirt. I'm looking dapper. Um, it's from MB Collections. MB Collections. Her name is Sister Abigail. Um, she's, she just gave us um, this t-shirt, a couple of them, to support what we're doing. She said we are doing something nice. So I think it's good that I tell you to go to where. She's at um, opposite um, late former president, Alu Mahama. <laughs> opposite is building uh, at the, the there's a Dansoman Road. Yes, yes, yes. So opposite Alu Mahama, she's there. You can call her on 0241-028537. Zero two four one zero two eight five three seven. Zero two four one zero two eight five three seven. Sister Abigail, Abigail. Uh -huh. When when you call her, just say Steve OSTV says you should come. Uh -huh. She give you solid discount. Uh -huh. So you can call her. She sells men t-shirt, lacoste, singlet, boxer shorts, everything for men. She has it. MB Collections. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Today, I have with me one gentle Jack, one special gospel artist. Um, I know him. I know you know him. Uh -huh. So I will not want to mention his name. Um, he has a song um, which he featured Carl Clote on it. Yes, you I love that song. I love that song. Uh -huh. I'm with Kelvin Sassu. Boss, God bless you for God coming. Bless you. God bless you. So this is my boss, eh? Charlie. Mm. Yeah. The anointing behind this guy. I think the first time I saw him at Weja, right? Yes. Uh, Weja in the metal studio. It was very humble, Charlie. But when you give him the mic, when the mic is on, fire brand. Boss. Yes, sir. Uh, Kelvin Sasso, is that your name? Is it Kelvin or Kevin? It's Kevin. No L. No L. So K E V I N. Yes. I N. Yes. Sorry. Uh, so Kevin Sasso. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I think um, I saw you first on IG. Yes. Yes. During the COVID time, um, your I don't know the name for the event, but yeah, we had a, a worship online session called uh, Worship Without Wars. Yes, 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 yes. That was the time I think I followed. You had a lot of great ministers on it. Yeah. So I was following, I was joining online because I think Mr. Ka was there. So I was following online. And it was awesome. It was yeah, awesome. Was uh -huh. So the, ne the next time was um, the Demetro play. That's where yes, yeah, I saw the first time. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. was through Mr. Robert Entry. That guy, I keep mentioning his name. Wonderful guy. <laughs> God bless you wherever you are. Yeah. So when we say Kevin Zasu, who is Kevin Zasu? Or when we mention Kevin Zasu, who is Kevin Zasu? Um, okay, so I like to be simply called Kevin. I'm a, a lover of God. I think that's 
fully encompasses everything about me. I'm a lover of God. Yes, there are, there are many offices probably I occupy when it comes to the gospel space. You know, being a songwriter and, and music director, you know, a chorister, praise and worship leader. Those are many things that I do, but to just fully describe who I am, I'll say that I'm a lover of God. I'm somebody who loves God. Okay. And also loves to be in the presence of God. And that is where I find my essence. Yeah. So I okay, that is why we are here. We are in the <laughs> four square power city, right? Yes. Power four city. Square. Wager. Yeah, power right. city. Yes, right. That's where we are at the moment. I think that this is where you go. Yeah, this is where I first square. Yes. Okay, for first square, I know, the, I know a lot of people in first square. <laughs> <laughs> so first square is like my second home. Yeah. Hello. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's a lover of God. It's a music director. It's a songwriter. Um, it's a choir star, praise and worship leader. Everything's from in the church. Yeah. Uh, Osha. Oh. No, 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 not in Osha. Uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So um, Kevin, you know Kevin Sasu as a lover of God. So I want to know your background. Background. Your family. Uh -huh. All right. So um, okay. So I, I can't fully describe. Okay, that's the one of the shocking things when people ask me where are you from. Okay, so I, I come from my humble home, the Akans. Okay, the Akans, yes. It's my, my mom is an Ashanti, my dad is also an Ashanti, but also, um, it's also from Kobe. So he has both sides to it. Yeah, okay. so. Please come, come, volume, volume. Yeah, okay, so yeah, um, so my mom is an Ashanti. Okay. Um, my dad is also an Ashanti, but he has a little bit of Kobe. Cool. Cool. So, oh, I yeah, Kobe and Ashanti, they, they yeah. work. Yeah, they were yeah, yeah. yeah. So um I think we were raised in with both aspects, with yeah. both traditions. So in the family you are how I many? Um so I have um two siblings, one ahead of me and one behind me. So we are three. Yeah, three. Yeah. Three boys. Yeah, three guys. Three guys. Ah, okay. So I yeah, see my my research is making. <laughs> uh -huh. Three boys. I know one is a drama, one is a keyboard. Yes, which one is a drama and one is a keyboard is I think in the family everybody loves to do something in the house of God. I think I started playing the keyboard and then I taught the younger one who has now taken over and who, who now plays for uh, yeah, our church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he was the one who played the Yeshua right? Yeah, that that is I think one of the testimonies I know being able to raise somebody and then the person gets to play your first single for you. So I think it is also one well, of his what's his name? Game. His name is Eugene. Eugene, uh, one wonderful guy. I know him yeah. by face, but by name. Yeah, yeah, they call Eugene. him Kojo Keys. Yeah. Kojo Keys. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one, one wonderful guy. He played the Yusuf Amashia. When he was coming up with the influence, I was like, oh, yeah. oh one yeah. young kid. Yeah. Tell you, you are doing well. God bless you. Yes. And um, your senior brother. Yeah, his name is Dennis. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, okay. for wow. him, he doesn't have a, a nickname. In, in church, we, we call him Elder Dennis sometimes okay. when we want to tease him, but he's okay. just simply Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Very good guy. First time I met him, he took me to a barber salon. The guy was cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So down, your family is like a music person. Yeah, music. You know, uh, not just music. I think the family is really ministry minded. Okay. You know, uh, my dad is is an elder who is also in Foursquare. Yeah, he's an elder in Foursquare, but he's with another branch. Okay. And then. My mom was blessed me too. She was an intercessor. Oh, in the yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So I think the family is basically ministry minded. We are taught to serve God with all our hearts and use our gifts and our talents as you know. Okay, so um, at what point the you guys decided to let's say okay, me Kevin Sasu, I want to do this thing. I fully want to do um, music and as a um, gospel music professionally. You see, it's a different thing, I keep saying, different thing singing in church, and it's a different thing altogether doing professional music for the masses. They're two different things. Mm -hmm. For say, uh, churches, you just pick random songs that you are blessed, then you bless the people with the same thing. Mm -hmm. huh. But for um, doing uh, ministry professionally, recording songs, taking out there, um, it's a different thing altogether. You don't know the people you want to. Um, it's like you don't know your customers, uh, but you you are trying to make sure they are okay. So at one point you are like, okay, I'm ready for this kind of tax. Okay, so I think it was a matter of um, fulfilling mission. You know, 
growing up in the four square gospel church that I fellowship, you know, such a prestigious church, but they go deep down into talents. And, you know, some of the people that God gave me talk to me about fulfilling mission because they realize that, you know, in life, you can just live life just like any other person or you can walk in your purpose and live it and be fulfilled. So for me, it was about fulfillment. And I believe that everyone, anyone at all, when any, anything is on their heart, they want to do for God and they begin to embark on it. They are fulfilling their purpose. So for me, um, music had been a talent since I was young, but there was a breaking point in my life where I received the prophetic word, but I just didn't want to run with the prophetic word. I wanted to trust God, wait on God, and then just be ready at the right time and serving God whilst I'm also growing in my gift. So even though I received the prophetic word, it was all about waiting on God and more until one faithful day, I just decided by the help of my spiritual father who has worked with me and Reverend Manuel Tete and also my head okay. pastor, Reverend Abraham Mante and all the wonderful pastors that God gave me. They just pushed me to do it and I think this is how far the Lord has brought me. Okay, so um, from what you're saying, like basically, um, it's for waiting on the Lord yeah. for the due time. Yeah. You don't want to rush yeah. into the ministry. So um, I know you started singing from the church, and, and but I know um, you once bagged um, Joseph Walker. Yeah, yeah. So um, I actually didn't come into the ministry as a singer. You know, I had a very deep passion for playing instruments. So I started playing the drum when I was young, and then I think that when I when I grew up. I transitioned to the keyboard and the guitar. So I think in the year 2009, after a lot of persuasion, I finally decided to be part of the group because I just wanted to play the instruments, you know, because that was my, where my passion was. But there was this guy who discovered my gift in me, um, uh, Mr. Imani Otu. They call him Johnny O. He was the one that discovered my gift in me. And then from there, he was the choir leader. So from there, um, Joseph Walker invited me to be part of his ministry, and then that was the first ministry I actually joined, and I learned so much from him, and I think I'm grateful to God for that first thing. Right, so for how many years did you work with him? So I was in the Joseph Walker ministry for about seven years. Seven years? Yeah, about seven years. Yes. Okay, hey, then <laughs> it's been long. Uh, yes, it's been long, very long. Yeah, he was a wonderful support, and he was giving me a lot of advice. He also helped me. And regarding praise and worship leading, so I, I learned a lot from him. And doing praise and worship. Okay, so God bless you, Joseph Walker, yes, uh, for, for supporting our brother wherever you are. Um, I also want to find out this thing. When finally, yes, now the time is okay, I want to do professional music. How did you go about it? Where did you start from? Who did you call? Um, so, um, Regarding professional music ministry, you know, there was a point in time in my life where I actually wanted to do it, even before I launched it out. That was um, um, two years ago. So, uh, mm -hmm. it's almost three years ago. 31st of March will be three years. Three years, okay. Yeah, but I wanted to do it, I think, five or eight years back. But I realized that I did not have so much knowledge on, you know, music and on music industry professional you know music industry involving artists managers you know um, producers and stuff so i decided to take a step back and then learn more about what it actually entails because you know sometimes you feel you are passionate about something but then when the, when you go through some of the basic things that are involved people tend to give up so i wanted to give myself time to you know learn more about what it costs to be part of the music ministry or have a, a production under you. So I learned, God gave me some specific people, like you mentioned Robert. Robert. Robert came okay. into the picture. And then he, he also, he actually pretty much redefined what music was to me because just before he had come, I was doing some things online, but um, I wasn't really setting the standards. Yes, like he says, he's over... He's, all, he's a man about excellence. You always uh, want it done. If you know Robert, uh, yeah. you can't do it, do it wrong. Yeah. Myself, he called me and was asking <laughs> questions. Like, have you done this? Have you done this? No. Yes. No, you have to get it. Yeah, Robert's so, all about excellence. And, you know, 
I remember his first message when he, he was up. He was like, you are not doing a good job. And, and to some people, they would have taken it yeah. offensively. But knowing the abilities of what is happening out there, yeah. and you know, you having a goal to go global, there are a lot of things that you have to redefine to reach that yeah. level of excellence. So I think he pretty much redefined what music initially was for me. It was setting people my way and... And I've learned a lot and I'm still like, yes, I'm still like. Okay, okay. so then, um, your first concert was the recording one, right? Yes, please. And that was um, yes, Yeshua was, Encounter. Yes, yeah. Yeshua Encounter. So. Um, why Cal Clothing? Okay. Uh, and because look, when I, I heard the song, <laughs> I was like, Cal, this song. Okay. So why Cal Clothing? When you wanted to? Okay, so. Um, Carl has, been, has played a very big role, you know, indirectly when it comes to my music career. Yes, he pretty much doesn't know that. But I think the first time I met Carl was at a program with Joseph Walker, where he oh. came to minister. Yeah. That was the first time I heard him and I actually fell in love with him. But I was not too close with him because a young guy coming up, they're not yeah. using the phone, so we lost connection. And I think we invited him again. And for our program that we host at the First Square Gospel Church, Power City, Yahweh's Glory, yeah. and then he came to minister. So um, we, we built a very, very good relationship. Yeah. You know, he's a very composed guy. I'm a bit very vibely, but, you know, we all have our own differences. Yeah. But we built a very good relationship. And then upon receiving the song and, you know, with the direction of the song, I just felt like I wanted to feature someone. And I wanted to look at somebody that I built a relationship with, uh, which would probably understand me the way I sing and how best we could connect. And then looking at, you know, my circle of friends, I just thought that Mokako would just be perfect for it. So, okay, so, so you have to give us some line in that song uh, <laughs> yeah. so that people could go check. Go to YouTube, <laughs> Kevin Sasu Ministries, right? Yeah, Kevin Sasu Gospel. Kevin, Kevin Sasu, Sasu Gospel, Gospel on YouTube. Yeah. Uh -huh. The song is Yeshua and Mashiach. Yeah. Right, so let's let's do that song. <laughs> yeshua Mashiach, Yeshua Mashiach, Yeshua Mashiach, He is for us and He is with us. Jesus on the side, Jesus on the side, He is our Lord. He's a God. Uh, I don't want to sing all you, don't go and listen to it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, there, there's one, one tone. Yeah. There's one uh, okay. aspect of the song right. that is, it, it says something like, you can't phantom or something. something. Yeah. Um, he's a God. Yeah. He's with us. He loves us. More than we could ever think of, oh, he's our God. Uh, that song, see, <laughs> this song is an, I don't know, it's okay. a world-class song, mm. but you know Ghana, the system. So this song, we have to redo the song again, All right. then push it out there. Push it out this there. one, we all redo it inside. Yeah. <laughs> we'll push the song. Glory see? to God, glory yeah. to God. See, I like, I like the song. Okay. So when I'm driving to work, I normally play it in this song together with some songs for okay. So he has done a lot of features, okay. but this particular one, I really, I really love the song mm. because the song speaks to me. Because I was like, ah, if we can even divide the song into three songs, I was telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Robert also made mention of that. Uh, <laughs> but the song yeah. is with three songs. Yeah. Then it's like, we can enjoy <laughs> one aspect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's a good, we thank God for that song. Uh, I really cool. enjoyed that song. Uh -huh. And the day, you ministered a song on at Robert's wedding, right? Um, was it Robert's wedding? I don't think it was Robert's wedding. There was a program like this. I think it was actually Carl's birthday. Yes. Carl's birthday. Um, the one at CJ. Yeah, the one at CJ. That was huh. where I was at. Ah, so, yeah, so, Saka, um, we know Carl's worship is coming. <laughs> Carl's worship um, 2022 is coming big and better. We want to see you show our Mashiach yeah. on the platform. <laughs> and I was today. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. <laughs> I want to see that aspect of the song. Okay, so uh, what went to that song? What went to that song? Right? Well, 
a lot went into that song. Um, I think it started out with um, me actually receiving the song. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people write songs. You know, some are inspired. I remember in the year 2013, um, I was called for a service where a pastor, Reverend, who's not Reverend, Reverend Jerry, yeah, he prayed for me and, and then he declared something like, God has given me the grace to write songs. And right from that moment, <clears throat> sometimes we're walking in town or I'm on an errand, and then I just have this Sorry. strong sense and leading, and then God just begins to drop the courses. So this was one of the courses that God dropped on my way to buy food. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the funny thing, you know. On my way to buy food, I was just walking, and I just, the courses dropped, where to where. And I remember I had a phone, I just took it out and I recorded it and I remember singing it back and forth. And funny enough, I, I lost that phone with all those recordings okay. that I had. That because it was something that God gave me, it was still in my spirit. Right. And, you know, that was the beginning. Then I think it came to, you know, rehearsing it, bringing life to the song, you know, seeking expertise from people who are in the gospel music fraternity for them to do their opinions on yeah vocal arrangement and yeah, stuff yeah. yeah so it's not easy writing a song and putting a song together so i think i'm grateful do, do you know why I, I, I was commenting the song <laughs> let me tell you once you put it <laughs> when the song was sent to me like the raw song was sent to me so then i sent to carl oh, okay. for him to listen to the song when i was like i like the song but i don't like the intro mm. <laughs> that's yeah. what i said okay. i like the song but I don't want to talk much because I know Carl. All right. All right. Because he's a songwriter and he's very experienced in songwriting. Do you know what? Carl listened to the song and said, I don't have to write anything. Um, we, we've done a lot of features. Okay. He has done a lot of features that um, when a song comes, no, it's not good. Then he has to rewrite wow. for someone. So this is the only song. Wow. That's working cool. with Carl, the only song that he received and was like, no, Steve, I think we don't have to do oh. anything. So he didn't write any verse, he didn't write oh. anything. So I was like, okay, and the guy, the guy, the guy is good. That's uh, one of the reasons why I really <laughs> enjoy yeah, this song. Enjoy wow. song. So, guys, go check it on Kevin Sasu gospel. music or yeah. gospel, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeshua Mashiach. The song is really doing well. And he won an award for that song. Yeah, I think that was one of the shots of, you know. My years, yes, yeah. yeah. I think I didn't expect to win it, honestly speaking. You know, I was in a category with people who are actually doing very well. I, coffee was super proud. Yes, and, and uh, I think it was Omari Kisi also. Omari Kisi, and then yeah. There was one gospel minister called the Iragna, and, yeah. and these people are doing very, very well. They started know, way back. Way back, and some of the things they've done and where they are, where yeah. they happen to be currently gives them, I think, more mileage. So I actually didn't expect it. So when my name was mentioned, I was I was very, very sure. Uh, first, first of all, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was, it was, I was amazing. very sure. Yeah. It, was, it was, it's wonderful. It was a wonderful feeling. I think I can say I owe it all to God. You know, I think that, you know, it's just an opportunity. It's a privilege. So I, right. Yeah, I, I see it as a privilege. Okay, so what has been your major challenge? Um, being a gospel artist, a um, major challenge. A major challenge, I think, I think the gospel space, when it comes to our context in Africa, or in Ghana specifically, you know, when you look at some of the things in the foreign spaces, becoming a gospel minister, you realize that there are a lot of things that are in place that helps you define where you are and where you can get to in a couple of years. Yeah. But it looks like with, in our context, we, we basically rely on okay, publicity. And then when it when it comes to publicity, then it becomes a financial matter where mm -hmm. if you don't have the money, probably your gift will not be so, you know, uh, seen or something like that. So, you need a lot of money to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I think it's everywhere. But when it comes here, because of the structure, it makes it a bit more difficult. So, I realize that um, when it comes to um, gospel in Ghana, gospel in Ghana is doing very, very well. I, I just sometimes wish that it is much more defined, you know, and, you know, some of the things you do or some of the 
places you have to be, some of the organizations or some of the you know things you have to be to actually define your music career. It helps the artist to actually know where he is and where he can get to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a challenge. I think it's a challenge. So um looking at the industry that we are in now, what do you think we should change in the gospel industry? Uh, honestly, that's that's a very tough one. Um, what we need to change? Yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, so when when it comes to gospel um, music, all right, gospel music is not like secular music. So let me start from that angle. Gospel music is not like secular music. You know, when you look at the Bible, Jesus prayed a prayer and he admonished, he prayed to the Father that they may be one. And uh, the reason why he prayed that prayer was that so that they will see that he has sent Jesus. All right. Yeah. So that was the prayer of Jesus. So now I realized that, yes, in order for us to actually be recognized, because sometimes when you listen to gospel music and you listen to some of the conversations, it looks like maybe the gospel fraternity is not being recognized. You know, even when the gospel fraternity is up for a, a certain category, like probably VGM, maybe Artists of the Year, if there's a gospel music minister there, it's a problem. People begin to complain. Even Christians begin to complain. You wonder why. Some are, some Christians are the same people that listen to the secular music. Yeah. So I think uh, one of what we need to change is actually our culture of love. You know, you know, love is unconditional. All right. In order for us to actually get to a place uh, where we actually are recognized, we must be one, because it is in the unity that we are noticed. You know, when you look at, not to throw any shade on secular music, but sometimes you realize that people craft certain beefs to bring two parties together for mm-hmm. them to, you know, say this person is like this, this person is like that. But it cannot happen like that in the gospel fraternity. So, very true. Yeah, so it's, I think it's about, you know, having that kind of love. I think that's the first step, love. When, when you are motivated by love to do anything, Trust me, we will never lose. It's either we are winning or we are learning a lesson. And I think that's the the, the, the heartbeat of the Father that we will love one another. And I think that's the greatest commandment. We love one another. So in order for us to actually achieve a certain knowledge, even when it comes to music worldwide, we have to be united. And I think that is where we are going to Okay, so see, I didn't say it. Yeah. We, had it the see, we have to be united. Yeah. That is it. Because... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes when you talk about uni- yeah, unity, um, some people from other fashion will tell you that um, you are not entitled. Mm-hmm. Like, or sometimes the one complaining, you are feeling too entitled. Mm-hmm. You see, the thing is that, see, we are, in, we are serving a father that believes in unity. Yeah. I said, he gives, he gives us grace yeah. so that we can support others. You see, yes. the money that you are making, I'm telling you, it's not for you alone. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. If, for it's for like let's say um, only you uh, you didn't have make that amount, mm. but God wants you to be a blessing to others. Yeah. That is why He gave you and yeah. position you at that particular place. Yeah. So if you are gospel artists and probably for some reasons God has um, lifted you, yeah. it is mandatory. Yeah. It is we, we don't have to beg you. Yeah, I, I think it's true because I believe that you know as believers our first ordination is by grace. Okay. So when we receive salvation from Christ, our God said that even before you were born, He knew us. Okay, and He ordained us for the nations. So already every worshiper, every not necessarily a worshiper, every gospel artist manager, every gospel producer, you know, you have an ordination for the nations. So that means that if you do not have this culture of love, you will tend to put in conditions when it comes to regarding your preferences or who you think deserves this or who you think deserves that. And, you know, when you look at salvation in itself, probably none of us deserve to be saved, but out of God's mercy, sure. uh, yeah, so we all receive this gift of salvation. So I think that's the, that's the So they see the problem keep rising. So <laughs> is, some of us, see, we are crusaders. Mm. We are crusaders. Our prayer is that mm. the industry uh, become united. And as a matter of fact, they become... A very tough force to reckon with. Mm. So if the gospel industry says, hey, this is what we want, mm. or this is what we are going for in Ghana music, everybody should turn to that direction. Yeah, and 
Then we have some Christians in that one is another thing. It's just okay. where Christians were in a nightclub. All right. And uh, it was around 2 a.m. in a nightclub. And there was this band trying to um, play gospel for them. It's that first. They didn't go to church. They were in a club. So it was trying to play gospel songs for them. And you saw the numbers. They were out there and they were singing the gospel songs. You see? But these same people organize a gospel event or a concert. And when it's 9.30, they start to leave. <laughs> that's, that's, that's been a challenge. I think that it's a matter of motive. You know, I believe that sometimes, and it's, it's, it's a battle, it's a struggle. You know, the Bible makes us understand that the, 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 the spirit wants to do something that the flesh doesn't want to do. The flesh wants to do something. So now these two have been placed in one body such that you are not able to do as you wish, all right? So no, it's it's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. You know, most of the time, we, we, we want to appeal to the world. We want to look like we are cool. We can be at this place and be at this place at the same time. But then at the end of the day, God does not look at where we are. God looks at the condition of our hearts. So, yeah. So the condition of our heart means that you are not even supposed to be there in the first place, all right? Now, the condition of our heart also means that even when there's a program and it looks like time is going, it means that, uh, what what are you looking for? Is it you are in a rush to go home? Or uh, are... The next day, they'll go to work. <laughs> but yeah. in the same time, the same Sunday, you will see them at the clubs. Yeah. It's and they, they, yeah. yeah. They're just praying for a change of heart. Yeah, it's, it's, a change. Uh, it's, it's Because you are living in a country where you said 90, uh, 70% of the population are Christians. Wow. But the popular artist in the nation is not a gospel artist. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And our, our most decorated gospel artist All right. in Ghana as a stance okay. now um, doesn't have one million followers. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. only now, we, only, we have only Gifty or say, okay. that's uh, Empress Gifty who has wow. one million views. And even that in April, after he performed on being concert. <laughs> so, this, so, this, this, is, this is very serious. So you, yeah. so you see the calculations. So it's like, um, the Sarkodiers and the Chatawales and the Stoneboys, they have the numbers than the gospel fraternity. But we are saying that we are more. We get yeah, it. Yeah. So it's like, we have Christians, so guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an issue. It's an yeah, issue. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what's up for... Kevin Sasu, your next project. Yeah, so um, Kevin Sasu Gospel is, you know, committed to, you know, embarking on spiritual projects. Okay? Yeah, we want to reach out to the world. We want to reach out to the, our communities with the gospel through our songs. So we have some songs that are lining up for the year. Yeah, we have some projects that are coming up. Have, Any features? Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we, we actually are not deciding on a particular person, but uh, hopefully, when we are done with all our you know, sessions and we see where we can create a space for uh, a feature, we will gladly do that because, trust me, uh, gospel music ministry has evolved over the years. And, you know, people's mindsets have changed with how gospel music should be. And I'm, I'm beginning to see a unified, you know, yeah. Uh, kingdom, especially when it comes to Ghanaian gospel. And yeah. it, it is clearly seen, you know, last year, a, a gospel music minister was awarded the artist yeah, yeah, of the year. And you could see how much uh, love and joy it brought to the gospel community. So, yeah, so we create a space when we realize that, yes, in this particular song, we want to feature somebody. We are, we are not going to look outside. We are going to look at what we have here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. So, um, let me ask you this question. Okay. Your all-time favorite gospel artist. Wow. All-time favorite gospel artist. Yeah. It's going to be William McDowell. William McDowell is my favorite, all-time favorite. I, okay, so that's for international. Yeah, international. Yeah. And locally, like in Ghana? Yeah, locally, um, I think I'm I'm very much in love with Pastor Zaya. Pastor Zaya is such a wonderful person. I... I follow him from afar. Happened to have this uh, reached out to him once, twice yeah. before, and such a humble man and very, very dedicated. And I think that makes 
him one of my favorites. When it comes to William Dor, I think it's a matter of you know similarities in our stories when it comes to yeah, yeah. coming up as people of the world. I, 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 yeah, I remember meeting him at uh, Yeah, I saw that uh, picture. Yeah, I meeting him. It was uh, I remember praying to God, telling him that I have to meet this guy. And I prayed for a full weeks program. And I think the day I was I was going to meet him, he was on his way to the airport. Yeah, and it was it was funny how everything God just brought everything together for me to meet him at that time. So yeah, I I, I simply love the man. Yeah. So I think yeah, this two. I think this one. Okay, so I think we are going to do uh two 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 okay. questions that you do. Yeah. <laughs> so your your five top male gospel artists. Five top male. All right. That's is it international or local? Local. 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 Wow. Okay, so I mentioned what I said pastor like right? Uh, yeah, I like I like Jumetto. Oh, um wow, well, I I like Philip Ajale. Very oh. passionate, very fantastic. And I love Carpete. As for Carpete is one is is I don't know, he's a chill user. Yeah. I think Ghana is yet to experience the full capacity of the kind of good that he has. So on first of May, yeah, Cabo Worship is coming up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, first of May. Yeah. I hope you'll be on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and I think it's the last one. Wow. Uh, it's funny how I have to choose one because I think I have so much more. Okay, so um, the last one, let me pick um, Jeshon. Okay, I'll just Jeshon. Yeah. See, the people you choose, they all have this same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what about the female? Female, okay. Female, I, I, I so much love Ohima Messi. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Very anointed. I love Ife uh -huh. Um Diana. Diana. Diana is very, very creative. Yeah, Diana, I love her yeah. music. Yeah. Diana. Uh, who again? Who again? Um, Sissi Chun is there. Uh -huh. Sissi Chun is wonderful. Sissi Chun is wonderful. Then there's uh, Becky Bonnie. Becky Bonnie. Yeah. And then... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the last question is on um, the BGM. All right. What do you think? What do you think about the gospel representations on the BGM? Yeah. Um, I think that when it comes to gospel representation on the VGM, considering this past year, I think that gospel should be more because you know. Recently, we had another award scheme. That was the Three Music Awards. Yeah. And then when I got to the, the, the top, the, I think the Gospel Song of the Year, I was so confused. Like, there was so much quality in the every day. song that yeah. you cannot really land on one particular song. And I think that comes to show how we are evolving, you know, uh, evolving in the sense that we are, we, are, we are creative. We are becoming more spirit-inspired, like, when it comes to sound production, production of the songs, you know, when it comes, because the song is not just the spirit, it yeah. comes with everything, interlude, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. And when you look at the, the top six songs that they plays there, um, I know that anybody will win, it will just be by an inch. Yeah, it will just yeah. be by an inch. Only right? by, like, yeah, no, 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 no. It's just be by an inch. So I think that gospel representation when it comes to VGM, I think it should be more because yeah, we are doing a fantastic job and we are really evolving and people are really seeing the essence of what okay, gospel music is like. Okay, yeah, so, you know, so, please, are you married? No, I'm not married. <laughs> but, so, you have someone? <laughs> no, I don't have anyone at the moment. I don't have anyone. Ah, okay. So, so <laughs> Why so, did you start that question? <laughs> <laughs> My last question for today then, we'll okay. move on. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what will make you stop doing gospel music? Um, I think death. <laughs> gospel music is like you know I, I see it as somebody asking me what will make me stop loving Jesus there's nothing that's going to make me stop loving Jesus because you know sometimes and especially considering gospel music people feel like it begins with a song and it ends when the song ends but gospel music is a life you know we are we are the bible says that let everything that has breath praise the lord so in that essence that means that when God was creating man, he was creating a vessel that will constantly be providing praise or constantly be producing praise. So there is no end to it. There's no end to our love for God. So there should be no end to our music. So um, 
let me just say to anyone who's doing gospel music out there, probably there are people who are doing out there without management. Mm-hmm. Probably they are doing on their own, on their own small scale, and probably they are looking to give up. You know, you hear, you see, you hear a lot of stories about people who have switched from gospel to secular. Oh, a lot because, of them. Yeah, the they, they, the they most difficult them. industry in Ghana, <laughs> yeah. the gospel music industry, <laughs> very tight. Yeah. You, can, you if you don't have shocks and um, you don't have this self-control, you don't have patience, you cannot survive in that industry. That's why you see yeah. the coming regions and the, the yeah, rest yeah, or yeah. going and when they skip, they go and do marvelously yeah, well. Sometimes they, they, yeah, the arguments that, you know, I, I was watching a video last time about an argument about somebody who said that, you know, some gospel ministers, they were in their churches and then their churches were not looking after them, they did not care about them. And then they lost the passion, and then they went into secular music. You know, I am of a, a, of a firm motive or a firm belief, uh, a firm conviction that when it comes to gospel music, it should be first our love for God first. All right. So our love for God is what inspires us to do music to bring others into the love of God. So thinking about switching to do something that will appease other people to get more followers, then. There's something about the motive that is questionable. You know, we should we should remain grounded in our conviction that this is our life and this is what we decided we are going to do. And when we have that kind of conviction, gospel music will never end for us. All right. All right. <laughs> so, um, if um, somebody wants to book Kevin Sasu, somebody wants to follow you on social media, how does the person get to you? All right. So you you can. Contact us um, 050-112-0054. Um, you can also contact 0244-947394. can get us to our management for all bookings. You can also visit us on our Instagram handles, on our Facebook page. That is Kevin Sashu Gospel. And we have people who are constantly on to receive messages and bookings for all events. Yes. Right. Okay. So um thank you very much. Thank you very thank much, you, um, viewers. You. Um as I said, um my dress, <laughs> I loved it. My nice polo set, some MB collections. Mm. And she's Madam Abijo. You can call her on 0241 Five, three, seven. Just tell her Steve, who's um, OST directed into the pizza. She's going to give you a very good discount. So she sells t shirts, lacoses, um, men's jeans, um, boxers, singlets, everything that you need. She's going to give you. So please, you can follow us on OSTV underscore GH on Instagram, OSTV GH on YouTube, OSTV on Facebook, so that we can bring you more and more interviews like this. God bless you, Sina man. God bless you for coming. Let's meet at the next interview. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>